And if we define personality according to the ICD-10 personality disorder are defined as deeply ingrained and enduring behavioral patterns. They manifest as inflexible responses to a broad range of personal and social situations. Now, the way we learn or our brain functions, what we call is like cognitions, the way we perceive and interpret things and judging them or making some assumptions and then trying to build into ideas and beliefs about people, about events and we develop some kind of attitudes and images of ourselves and of others and if we perceive ourselves as weak as worried and others are um, overpowering controlling we might go into those phases um, the other thing is about your emotions emotions can be anything like anxiety depression low mood worrying, suspicious and you tend to get the physical symptoms and psychological symptoms and the way these emotions are they range from very low to very high in a very quick short period of time and the intensity of these emotions is quite severe and the person who is observing their behavior might think, oh God, what is happening here? And these emotions are the appropriate for that particular event, for that particular situation or being with somebody um, that you have this emotional arousal for apparently minor things or no response should be there when there is extreme emotional arousal it can be anger, frustration out of nothing and the other bit of the personality is do they control their impulses? do they have moral values? or they cross them very quickly? they do things impulsively and are they able to um, have gratification of needs because in personality disorders the gratification of needs is I want this now, here, today, immediately and if you don't get then you can get very frustrated, angry, upset and that can affect the relationship causing problems in the relationship and that if keep on happening again and again becomes your nature, becomes your personality may affect your relationship with others. The manner we relate to others and how we handle interpersonal situations it's, it's the is the is our personality how we interact with others how we relate with them do we understand the situation or do we just barge in so all these things can depend on personality now in 2003 John Livesley he developed personality system based on the work done by John Livesley in 2003. He, he mentioned interactions. What we have already understood is that we behave in certain characteristic ways in situations or dealing with people and that is our habit. 
and this is going to affect individual behavioral tendencies and this forms over a period of time consistent patterns of reacting the way we think about and view ourselves and perceive other people it also interacts our ability to regulate our emotions emotional reactions and demands from our environment and relationship with others.